guys i hope you're well in today's video i'm not gonna be reviewing any makeup product i know it's a big change i'm just gonna be creating a makeup look the foxy eye makeup look suitable for hooded eyes as i do have hooded eyes as you can see and as i mentioned in probably every single video of mine so this eyeshadow look will be super easy to create if you have hooded eyes you're gonna lift your eye slightly bit up as well i actually think that foxy eye makeup look suits every eye shape so i think without any further ado let's start this i just actually did my eyebrows i did a makeup obsessions so fine brow pencil i compared these two products and i'm gonna see which brow is which but both brows are completely different products it's the same to me the is up on my channel already you guys check it out after watching same if you're wondering what happened to my finger by the way i managed to smash it between my car door don't do an ask how i don't even know how it's possible to put only one finger all right so i'm gonna start from prepping my eyelids first because this is what i do prior applying any eyeshadow it just helps the eyeshadow to stay longer and not to crease especially if you have hooded eyes like i do so i'm gonna prime my eyelids with conceal and define infinite concealer We just need to set this quickly up so i'm going to use a loose setting powder by revolution the infinite matching one for this concealer actually so this one is translucent so for this look i decided to go with i want to say my favorite eyeshadow palette at the moment but i do use this a lot and i feel like it's so underrated by makeup revolution so this one is makeup revolution dana altuvarish altuvarish i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly the shadow palette it's super affordable it's so pigmented it's kind of creamy as well it lasts all day long i've been loving honestly this palette so much but i don't feel like they do too much pr for this palette and they don't really promote it for some reason so it's very underrated but it's amazing plus with some collaborations the quality of a makeup is not as good with the original ones by the brand but this is not the case so what we're gonna start from is okay so you have two options you can start straight away from the liner and then kind of smudge it up a bit or you can start a bit from a shadow and then go with a liner so for this look to make it as easy as possible we're not gonna go with the actual liner we're just gonna use this dark brown color called brunette from this shadow palette as it's easier to work with the eyeshadow even if you want to do like a liner look they can shading brush by real techniques it's kind of small then it's flattish brush first i'm gonna go with this color i'm gonna use it in the outer corner of my mobile in my C shape. And then I'm kind of smudging a bit color onto the mobile. I want the more intense part to stay in the C shape. So, next thing I'm doing, I'm taking a slightly bit darker color because this one was a lighter shade, so slightly bit darker shade. I'm gonna go with this. A little bit closer to the lash line and then blend it in the mobile lid on the outer corner only not going too close to the inner part of the outer corner and then blend slightly bit. next thing i'm doing i'm taking this light color this one is called white but obviously it's not white it's like a light beige color and i'm just going in at eye corner just dabbing the color on you can take fluffy brush for this if you wish i just like to dab the color on so i'm going in at eye corner and dragging slightly bit to the middle basically where we don't have any product yet let's go to this you know, foxy <laughs> eyeliner part so as i mentioned i'm gonna use the shadow for that darker brown color it's almost like a black but it's not really you can go for a black color if you wish but i feel like dark brown color would just look nicer and will be easier to use so for that i'm gonna use the eyeliner brush by real techniques i'm gonna spray it up with a setting spray this one is the essence spray by revolution so i'm just gonna spray it up so it's wet so the product stacks better to the brush so i'm just recycling like upcycling this like a plastic bit from the brushes that these brushes were packed in I just keep it on the side so when I wet my brushes when I spray it up, the spray doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna spray it up. 
wet brush and then dip it in this shadow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go close to the lash line, basically like with the eyeliner, just we're going with the eyeshadow so it's easier to use. You can go with a liquid eyeliner if you wish, but I just feel like using the eyeshadow, it gives more this smokiness look. Also, I only wet the brush for this look once, so I start from kind of middle of my movelet, creating this line apart, and then going to the inner eye corner, and then the brush is not as wet anymore, because it absorbed all this product, then I'm going to the flick. So this eyeshadow is more like smoky, it's not gonna be like super intense. I really like this trick to sharpen the line is by using the makeup removing wipe. I use the simple biodegradable ones. Just wrap around your index finger and go from under the line and just shape it. So even if you were not super precise, it looks precise now. Because I have super hot eyes, if I close my eyes, the line goes like this. So we want to fix this part to make it more look, you know, like to not be as visible. So for that, I'm going with this color called Burgundy. So I'm using the same brush, shading brush that I used before by Repechniques. And I'm gonna go close to the lash line where this line part is and kind of smudge it straight a little bit up. So it's not that like super concentrated in here. going exactly on the top of the liner, on the outer corner only, and smudging the liner slightly bit up. Even on the outer corner. You see what I mean about the outer corner now? It goes more like a rather than this one. Make sense? I think this looks better. And that's the reason why I didn't went with a liquid eyeliner because that would have been harder to smudge it because it would just sit in place. Because we use the eyeshadow, it's easier to just you know, blend it. So I'm coming back to this color called white. I'm gonna go on the inner eye corner, like on a mobile lid closer to the inner eye corner. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm going for the lower lash line. So I'm taking the same brush that I used before from Real Techniques and this first lightest brown color that we used. I'm gonna go on a lower lash line, middle to outer corner. Next thing I'm doing, I'm taking the same liner brush. It's still a little bit damp. It still has a bit of shadow on the darkest brown that we use above the liner. So I'm going on the outer corner of this lower lash line and kind of merge the top part of the liner with the lower lash line. Just on the outer corner. And then I'm taking the same brush I used before with lighter shade. I'm gonna blend this again so it's not super intense. Taking a small dense brush by Real Techniques and the color called it be the shimmery light color to highlight the inner eye corner. I'm taking the super small detail brush by Real Techniques. I'm gonna once again spray it up and I'm coming back to this dark brown color. I'm gonna go super precise inner eye corner, just drag this slightly bit in on the top and then the bottom part of that in eye corner. I think you know what I mean. So I'm just dragging this liner part right here. Here we go. 
this already looks better. I'm gonna apply some falsies. Gonna go and use our Dell's Magnetic Essence in the mascara. This one is the NYX Worth a Hype mascara. So I'm gonna do that and come back to you. So lashes and mascara is on. I'm just gonna go and quickly apply the foundation and some lippy and come back to you with the finished look. Well, the eye makeup look is on. And the makeup look is complete. What do you guys think? Also change up dress by the way. Because <laughs> I thought it will just look nice with this foxy eyeshadow. I didn't really touch eyes at all. I just applied a bit more of the mascara after I went through the foundation because I touched a lower lash line, the lashes. But other than that, I didn't touch at all. So the eyes look still the same. What do you guys think? I really hope you guys find this video helpful, so please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more and leave a comment down below, let me know what you would like to see more on my channel, more reviews or more tutorials and if you're gonna go and recreate this makeup look, please tag me in your pictures as I would absolutely love to see those and yeah, I shall see you very very soon, have an amazing day you guys, bye!